So we're here in Methodist Central Hall today and uh, there are hundreds, maybe thousands of junior doctors protesting the DDRB's recommendations on junior contracts. And uh, what do you think about the DDRB recommendations that have been put forward today? They're absolutely atro atrocious. They are just, you know, cutting everything, the, the money, they're giving me, giving you more, more work, more, more time. It's just, they're after, they're, they're after the NHS effectively, because as far as I'm concerned, junior doctors are the backbone of, of, of hospitals. Well, I think, I think it's really, really wrong to be honest. And I think it's going to send junior doctors who are qualifying in the UK out the country to places where you will be better paid, like the USA and Australia and places like that. So I think it's definitely um, a wrong move. And how do you think the recommendations, will, will they have a positive or negative effect on patient safety in your view? I can't see that it would ever have a positive effect. It, it takes away safeguards um, for working hours, which are already long and arduous, and making that any worse, I just can't see how it would, affect, how it would improve patient safety. My main fear is that it's going to discourage people from doing the specialties that are already struggling to recruit people. Specialties like GP, psychiatry, they're already massively underfilled all the training spaces and they rely heavily on locums, uh, which makes the overall cost higher. Well, uh, I think a 30% cut would be particularly devastating in all um, specialties, but particularly in GP, uh, where we're already facing uh, around uh, 50 to, uh, 40 to 50% of places unfilled. Um, many of my friends uh, are considering GP, but I know for a fact they're not. They're now considering their options uh, outside of medicine or in other specialties. Um, do you know what constitutes a junior doctor? Do you know how old junior doctors can be or young junior doctors can be? Yeah, so I know that you have like, I think they're called F1s or something like that, and it goes up until you're a consultant and you're about 35 general about that. So it's affecting obviously university students but also middle-aged people with families which is why it's so crucial to uh, you know so many people so many lives of patients and doctors and everyone out there this isn't a really about um doctors pay it's more more to do with the future of the nhs if we can't retain our staff then uh, there won't really be an nhs to go to at all we may we may find that the future of british medical research really goes downhill if people don't do it, if they're, if they're actively discouraged from taking time out to do research. And a lot has been said about how the new contract might disadvantage women who want to go away and have children. Um, in this day and age, have you got any views about that? Yeah, I mean, the recommendations are unclear and that's part of the reason why I support the BMA and trying to negotiate properly on our behalf. Um, but I have particular concerns, obviously, in my personal position that um, taking maternity leave and taking time out to care for children would be penalised by the new contract. And with the fact that there's going to be a huge workforce of um, women doctors, um, that potentially provides a big threat to the NHS work. Well, that, again, that's absolutely appalling. You'd think we're going back, I don't know, decades, more than decades, uh, all the rights that have been acquired for women to you know, be able to have maternity leave, men to have paternity leave. And um, this, you know, in your case, it's not possible, it's not happening. And that's just out of order completely. So at the moment, I see, think you're seeing a demonstration of how much doctors care about the NHS and how we want to try and support. The BMA have urged the government not to impose the contract, saying we will resist a contract that is bad for patients, bad for junior doctors, and bad for the NHS. Jeremy Hunt has agreed to meet the BMA Junior Doctor Committee Chair, Johan Malawana, to discuss the contract. Decisions made in the coming days and weeks are likely to have huge implications for the future of the NHS.